All right, you guys, if you actually guys think COVID-19 is going to kill you and all this bull crap, you may be a moron. Shut off your news, right? Shut off your TV. Go outside, pick your weeds, right? Go out, spend some time with your family. Go shopping and watch what happens. Everything goes away. That news is brainwashing you over and over and over again. Because that's what they do. And they did it in Nazi Germany, and they're doing it now. Our own government... They're not good, you guys. I don't know why you guys think they are. They don't care about you. They're all multi, multi, multi millionaires. And you guys are broke. Do you not understand that they have poisoned our children's minds? Back, way back, they look back to the women's rights movement. They got the women out of the house, you got equal rights of the man, this and that. And then they got the woman working. They increased the taxes up so you guys couldn't freaking barely make ends meet. And they've robbed us of our joy, don't you understand? When are we gonna rise up? We need to rise up and stop this shit. They're robbing you of your joy. You are working for these scumbags, don't you understand? And they're just, like that bill, the contact tracing, a hundred billion dollars? Really? Of my money? I'm not paying for that. You know, I think what we need to do is show them who's boss and let's all not give them any tax money this year. All in unison and say, look, and so you guys freaking straighten out, put term limits in, we're done. Because these people, who picking your nose? No, I'm not. I the, was just fixing my mouth. These people are going to be the downfall of our nation. And I truly believe if you're a communist or socialist, we should have a right to go in and take you and beat the crap out of you and put you in prison for life if you're a communist or socialist in this nation. We should have the right to do that. I hope Trump gets in, the ter in this term. I am totally for bending the rules of the Constitution to remove communism and socialism. And I'm talking send freaking troops into all the mainstream media and gut them all. Even Fox News, gut them all. Get rid of all of them and put real Americans starting our own real news, real stuff that does not lie. And we need to do that stuff. And the news lies. But thank God, the very, very small amount of our population believes in the lie. And that's good. But I'll tell you what, if they pull this shit in 10, 20 more years from now, which I think they're going to try to pull it sooner, uh, I think we'll have a civil war. I'm, I'm actually looking forward for the civil war, so um, I know it's, it's going to be ugly, but I, I really want to stop this stuff. It's like, it's embedded in my fibers of my being that I want to stop this tyranny in our country. And I'm not going to do it alone, because it'll just take me out. But I think that we need to group up, figure out what the hell we're going to do. Uh, I think we need to start, when our representatives come here, we need to go and sit down and go, you got one warning. You, we're putting in a bill for term limits. One warning, you're going to pass it. That's all there is to it. It's going to get passed. If you don't pass it, then we're going to have to remove you from office, because we're done. Even if you're a good senator or congressman, we need to get rid of you. Because... Think about it, you guys. They spend millions of dollars just to get elected. Why? For a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollar job? Why are they spending so much money? Wow, wow, wait. Why? Think about it. That power. The power. They're drunk off that power. And being drunk off that power is the demise of our families and our future. I'm sorry. I'm not going to work nine to five, barely make it, and give them all this money. See, that's the problem. They got you all by the freaking cojones because you guys don't have any money. The majority of people have no money. And you will sit down and shut up if they tell you to. You might sit there and think you're all tough and, oh, I'm going to do You're not going to do crap. They'll tell you to sit down and shut your mouth and you'll listen because you have no money. Money is what gives you power in this country, period. And they've stripped us of our wealth, and it's bullshit. I'm, I'm just sick and tired of what's going on in our nation, man. I really am. It's freaking pathetic. And it's just people just, they're afraid. They're weak. It's kind of sad. All right, you guys. Remember that name. Ed Mackey.